Welcome everyone back to a brand new Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be talking about a way that I use to transport myself around in my survival worlds. Now obviously because I am the best in the game, you know, all the good players said so themselves, you know. Don't actually try to fact check this please. But you know, I am the best in the game obviously. So this is something that you should always also try and do in your own survival worlds. Now it's actually quite a simple way of transporting and the reason why I say in the title the easiest way because there are really other ways which are technically fast but then you need a combination of loads of different things and potions and so on and so forth but this is really really simple to set up although it might take some time to mine but also you don't really need any new potions anything else all you need really are two sets of items the first one is a boat which is you know quite simple everyone at this stage can make a boat and the second one is ice now we have here three different types of ice so let's start off with the you know least favorable ice, you know, the worst one, but at the same time the easiest to get, and that is simply, you know, ice. Now this ice is, you know, can it be easily found and farmed, it's not that hard to get. It forms when ice, oh sorry, water, goes into an area which is too cold, so it could be a biome or could be too high up. And so it will naturally turn into ice, then you can mine it and it can be happily ever after. Now obviously when mining any of these ices, you need a silk touch pickaxe. And also be warned that with this ice, if you place a torch too close to it, it will turn into water. Now, say you actually want to travel faster because, you know, boat and ice is quite fast, it's considerably fast, but that's not enough for you, you want to go really fast. Now we have packed ice, now this is where it gets interesting. Packed ice is just nine ice all around in the crafting station, and you get this, packed ice. You can also find it in the packed ice biomes, or those huge biomes in the ocean with like huge icicles, not icicles, icebergs, sorry, rest in peace titanic, and this is quite good because, again, you can go faster there with normal ice, and it's not really that expensive to craft, I mean, you can get ice very, very quickly with a good pickaxe and silk touch, you can literally just go through, you know, a river, so if this was in a cold biome, this would all be ice, and with your pickaxe, you can go brrrr, you get loads and loads of ice, that's quite good, and, you know, this is a upgrade that isn't too expensive. Now, thirdly, we have here the blue ice, and the blue ice is the king of ices, and as such, it's the most expensive. To make blue ice, you need nine packed ice all around in a crafting bench. Now, obviously, if it's nine packed ice, it means a total of 81 ice. So, all in all, it gets quite, quite expensive quite quickly if you want to use blue ice. However, the benefit to that is that it is very, very fast in a boat, as we will demonstrate soon. Now you find blue eyes again in those huge packed ice, well they're not that huge, they're packed ice biomes, but they make huge icebergs. But the thing is it's much much harder to find than packed ice in that biome. Packed ice really makes up the majority of the icebergs, those huge huge structures. Whilst blue eyes can be found maybe in the small icebergs, you rarely find them. But mostly it's underwater in small little, uh, what do you call them, veins. So blue ice is what you really want, and this is what I normally use in my survival worlds. But packed ice can do, and obviously ice can do. And ideally, you want to get as much blue ice as possible to make your transportation as fast as possible. Now, the general rule for how much ice you need is distance or the amount of blocks that you want to cover. So, if you want to go a thousand blocks, you need a thousand ice, whether it's ice, packed ice, or blue ice. Obviously, then, if you want to go five blocks and five ice, and so on and so forth. And luckily, that is quite a simple method to make. And normally, you get well, you do get blue ice or any of the ice in stacks of 64 so you can then do the maths and how many stacks you need and they you can go and uh, mine the ice like I said as well to mine these ice and actually collect it you also need the silk touch pickaxe so what do you actually do to you know make a quick highway or pathway for you to go now what you need to do is quite simple you just need to have like a barrier here this is obviously off the right blocks I actually made this um, in my survival world, or this is my survival world rather. So you can see this in the right is all I've mined, um, all legitimately obviously. And then what you do, you put your ice, so obviously, because we're going to go for the best in this channel, blue ice, in a cross, uh, crisscross manner, like this. And you technically don't need these grass blocks over here, you won't actually fall into them if you're in your boat. And so you just carry on like this, all the way to the de your destination. You can obviously um, make turns, etc. Just like with, you know, for example, a rail cart system. But make sure that both you have a two um, space wide gap and also you have your ice in this fashion here. So if, for example, I wanted to make a turn, then I would simply do this and then I carry on 
in my ice boat journey. So let me now demonstrate how this works. Let me get a boat. Boat, here we go. So what you need to do is simply put a boat down, like so, get in your boat and paddle. As you can see, you can go really, really fast. And this way can be really, really, like a good way to transport yourself in, like to really, really far away areas in your survival world. So now I'll actually show this in another one of my survival worlds, because obviously this survival world, I've done really good things with it. So yeah, see you then. Now here I am in one of my friend's realm servers, and as you can see, fully decked out in full-on netherite's armor. And basically I have a conundrum. I am in this nether fortress, so I'm trying to hollow out, and I want to get back home. Now luckily I've actually used this um, system that I've introduced in this video here to actually make a really, really nice pathway and I say really really quite often don't I they a nice um, quick road to my house so as you can see here we have a lot of blue ice like I said blue ice is because I only go for the best and what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate how I can quickly use this to transport myself around the world obviously it's lagging a bit because I'm recording but this like bridge or this road it looks like a nice bridge but this road is around about a thousand blocks long and Obviously this means, because one block in the nether is a thousand blocks uh, in the overworld, I've actually really quickly, actually is this a thousand or five hundred blocks, I forgot, but I've really quickly transported myself eight thousand blocks in the overworld. Now I definitely know this path here, which goes to a desert in the overworld I believe, is a thousand blocks um, away in the nether, and so technically it would be eight thousand blocks in the overworld, so as you can see, you know, it takes a fair bit of this uh, time rather, but imagine walking this far in the overworld. It would take absolutely forever to actually go, you know, 8,000 blocks. And trust me, in my worlds, I've often made that journey. And bam, I'm already 8,000 blocks away from my house. And this is just a bit to the side to go to another portal. So, trust me when I say this, this is an amazing way to transport yourself in your worlds. It is hugely, hugely fast and efficient. It takes a lot of time to make these tunnels, however, and to get all of this blue ice. But if you're at that stage where you want to travel really, really far, it's well within your capabilities to make this tunnel. And, you know, this is a good way to mine off netherite, so my full-on netherite armor and stuff is, you know, it comes from me just mining out here. This is at a good level, and I might actually make a video saying how, well, ways I use uh, to get netherite. So... Yeah, thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed, and also a sneak peek into uh, my realms world with my friends. So, hope you enjoyed, have a watch of my other videos, and yeah, see you soon, and goodbye.